Hey everyone, welcome back to Silent Hill 3. Last time, we completed the game on hard and got a very, very bad ending. The possessed ending where we killed everything. We killed absolutely everything we possibly could. And now, it's time for... Whoops, don't want to do that. Now it's time for the third run of the game. There is a third ending that we will be getting. And let's just say this ending that we'll be getting, this is the actual, real, true ending of the game. This is how things actually are. So a few things we're going to change for this run. We're going to change the blood color, yeah. We have black, violet, and green. I think violet, maybe maybe a little bit of green, I don't know. We could switch it up in, in the game, I believe. We can do little, much, or normal. Let's just keep it at normal, that's fine. Low health indicator. This is something else that I un unlocked, which I will show you that in just a minute. Bullet adjust times four. Now, I played this game to unlock. I didn't play. I didn't play. I didn't play it on the recording, but I played. I had to play through the game again. I played it on easy difficulty. Just went through it as quick as I could, so I could unlock the, the final secret weapon, which is here, here's. I, I took some screenshots. So I played on this, I went through it as quick as I could, and I got the Heather Beam hidden weapon. What is the Heather Beam? I, I, I don't know, I don't know. We'll have to check it out. But you get it by killing 333 enemies throughout multiple playthroughs. So you can't just get it on your first playthrough, your second. I almost got it. I was like probably, I want to say 50 enemies off if I if I tallied it up correctly. So if I killed 50 more enemies my first my first run through the game, I would have unlocked it without having to play through it again. But yeah, there we go. So then it said, this weapon can only be activated when no other weapons are equipped. Oh, sounds interesting. And I also unlocked beginner mode. Now, now beginner mode is when you die three times on easy mode. I just wanted to unlock it. I didn't intentionally die because it's so easy. But beginner mode has been added to the extra options. When on, battles will be made even easier for the beginner. This mode is easier than action level easy. This pretty much gives your character like five times attack boost and gives the enemies like five times less health. It is it is pretty, pretty easy. Like I killed the bosses in practically one hit. This can also be applied to in-game data. However, you cannot select a beginner mode if you are playing at action level hard or above. And then I got this at the end. It says nothing but the rating you will. Obviously, the text was a little bit cut off. I don't know, but it wasn't fully visible there. Well, so that that was that, that was a bit strange, but I got it. I won't be using it. I don't need to use it. So. Yeah, that there there is that for you. All right, so let us. Uh, well, what we're going to be doing first? Let me actually before I go back to the main screen. You know how the the opening music plays. Well, I think we were see that opening one more time, except this time. Heather, let's uh, go ahead and take it away, shall we?
So Hello did an amazing job there, singing the opening theme. Uh, that is from the Art and Music of Silent Hill DVD. There are a few other things we'll be checking out from there as well at the end of, of the game. So, let us go ahead and begin now, shall we? We also unlocked a new costume at the end of playing on extra new game called Princess Heart. We're going to see what that does too, but... One more thing also we're going to see is the Konami code. You know, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, circle, X. Well, since I'm playing on the computer, I kind of have to... <laughs> kind of have to use my keyboard. So the password for this is... WWSSQEQE -E, Escape Enter. And you want to highlight extra new game. So I'll play on action level easy, I mean action level normal. We also unlock extreme one for beating hard. But I'm going to do riddle level easy. We're going to check out that. Oh, what was that? What was that? Nightmare. The nightmare is our previous two playthroughs that we did. Finally, Heather is truly waking up with her real self. A Robbie fan. Robbie the Rabbit. She is, she's a fangirl of Robbie the Rabbit. me to okay <laughs> okay I will I love you too dad Heather I need to speak with you my name is Douglas Carter Detective? Really? Well, nice talking to you. <laughs> Hold on. There's someone that wants to meet you. Just let me have an hour. No half an hour of your time. <sighs> My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. This is very important. It's about your birth. I'm not interested. Are you still following me? Do I have to scream? Sorry. I'll wait here. Oh, Douglas. This is Douglas. Tr Douglas's true form as well. He just, he, oh, Heather, what is going on with you? Look at that. That's interesting. But Douglas, yeah, he likes that. He just likes to wear something that just feels nice. Just not many clothing, just something that is lightweight, shall we say. That's what's lightweight to him. So he decided, you know, I'm just going to wear my boxers and my coat. And what is this, Heather? Hmm, this... She seems to be reacting to the save point there. Well, let's, let's go outside and see what's going on out here. Well, she doesn't have it now, but... Oh, Heather. So, this is the new weapon that we unlocked, the Heather Beam. It is, let's just say it's, it's just 
Amazing. Who would have thought something this crazy would, would be in a Silent Hill game, but there it is. Not that I think we're going to use that or anything. But yeah, you hear the Heather beam. When she shoots it off. And it's homing, I believe, as well. At least this one is. Not, not the ball one. But we also got a new costume as well. There's actually also something else we want to show off in the options. Life display. We're going to turn that on for this run as well. Life display. We have our life up in the top left as well as our stamina meter. And we can see how that goes. And we also unlocked a new costume. The transform costume. Princess Heart. It's a costume to change into the magic girl Princess Heart. Huh. Interesting. Yes! And look at Heather now! A true... Hang on a minute, we gotta get in position here, there we go. A true superhero. Isn't that right, Heather? Yes? Oh, you... Do you want to go out there and just kick D uh, D uh, Douglas's butt? <laughs> so... Her weapon changes too, it's not just the Heather Beam now, no, 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 it is now. It is now the sexy beam. Even more powerful and homing. She can shoot lasers just like this. It does dra drain our stamina pretty quickly. But now she's a true super superhero. After all, this is her true form. This is how she truly is. And now she's going to be fighting the bad guys as superhero Heather. Princess Heart. Alrighty, let's go ahead and just get this get this started now, shall we? Since now Heather is fighting crime, all crime will be vanquished. Let's see what the closer thinks of Heather's new outfit. Obviously, the closer's closer may may fall in love with Heather here. Like, oh, superhero! I like superheroes. I like her boots with the stars on it. Hmm. The closer doesn't even seem to notice us. Now, Heather, I mentioned this for the previous time. You have a super powerful laser beam you can be using. But no, you decided to use the handgun that was on the ground. Not only that, you also had the unlimited submachine gun. What the heck are you thinking, Heather? You could have easily just done this. And just killed him. But no, no, you decided that it would be a good idea to pick up the handgun that's clearly right there and just... Yeah. But so let's go ahead and try out our new weapon on these doggies. These dogs, by the way, are not here. Six. These dogs are not here on easy difficulty. Oh yeah, all dead. Awesome. So for the ending that that we're getting, we need to kill thirty-one enemies. 
using this weapon. And I have confirmed that it is indeed 31 enemies. It's not 30. It is 31 or more. Which is an odd number. But I uh, mentioned, uh, I was thinking that maybe it's 31 because maybe when they programmed 30, they put a greater than sign. So it would be greater than 30, which would technically be 21. Six. Weapon kills them really fast. We also have one more new weapon to try out as well. Oh, hello there, doggy. Ah. Uh, kills him so fast. Thank you for the beef jerky. So let's go over and try out our third final new weapon that we have not seen yet, that I unlocked last time. Actually, over here. You, you unlock this weapon if you kill more enemies your first playthrough with a, a ranged weapon, which I didn't. I, I tried to do up-close attacks. Here we go. Flamethrower. And now this makes a lot of sense. There's a flyer. Crispy toasted dead right to your very door. Everything on sale, Helen's Bakery. So that D's added when you get the flamethrower. Let's go ahead and give the flamethrower a try. It looks very similar to the submachine gun. This is probably my least favorite weapon of the bunch, which is why I wanted the beam saber first and definitely the unlimited submachine gun. This thing will roast the bad guys, and I don't have to worry about fuel either. So yes, it is unlimited. So let's actually try it on these closers over here. Yeah. It is pretty powerful. I just prefer something that is more ranged or kind of stuns them. Like, it doesn't s s stun them until they're close to death. There we go. But it is still a cool weapon to have. Well, that actually shows off all of the extra weapons in here. So let's just go back to our sexy beam. Since obviously you want it to be sexy. You don't want it to be a heather beam. You want it to be a sexy beam. And why not? Let's go ahead and pick up the beam saver. Just so we can have all of the extra weapons on hand. There you go, Heather. Reach for that. This looks like a... I don't know. She just, she just, uh, she's an amazing superhero. Just look at that alpha that she has. Okay, I'm gonna save just in case. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, hello there. Oh, it kind of... That was interesting. They were kind of stunned there. That was really interesting looking. Okay, once we run out of stamina, we can't actually use it again. And we kind of have to recharge some of our stamina up. There we go. Also want to make sure that I have the health drinks equipped. When you use a health drink, I notice it also really uh, fully uh, increases your stamina as well. See Heather this time, she's not she's not killing the enemies because she enjoys murdering. No, she's she's a superhero now. She doesn't even need to worry about, you know, killing things that are nice or anything. No, she's going to kill evil things. She's going to save the world. We don't even need to put the books here on action level easy. 
It's very easy. Five, six, seven, four. We don't even need to put the books. Let's actually keep the books in our inventory. I wonder if Claudia is going to like our amazing outfit. Let's see what Claudia thinks about it. Um, hey, wait, what's going on? Where is everybody? Those weird monsters? They have come to witness the beginning. The rebirth of paradise, despoiled by mankind. What are you talking about? Don't you know? Your power is needed. How should I know? I am Claudia. So what? Remember me. And your true self as well. Also, that which you must become. The one who will lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. Claudia, right? Did you do all this? It was the hand of God. <laughs> Cutscenes, so funny with this costume. It really is. Something else I forgot to mention: the flamethrower and the beam saber. If you get a ten-star rank, these will get more powerful. The flamethrower would do more damage, and I believe the actual flame may go further. I'm not entirely sure. And then the beam saber also gets longer if you get a 10, 10 star ranking. So those weapons actually do get an upgrade, which is actually pretty cool, but I'm not about to go for a 10 star ranking. I tell you that that much, <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, I see her. Claudia with her no eyebrows, yeah. Yeah, she's got, I wonder if she saved him off to, because maybe, maybe God told her to shave him off. I don't know. That is a possibility. What do you think, Heather? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think she knew what she was doing there. Heather, are you going to get scared of this? She probably lost them during some witchcraft. Yeah, it, she might have. She kind of looks like a, a witch for sure. She sure does. Heather, how could you be scared of this? When you're wearing that amazing costume. <laughs> this isn't a cosplay convention. I like that one. How have I never noticed that chair? There's a chair right right there in the corner. I never noticed that. Just now, all this time I've seen that cutscene. That is like one of my favorite cutscenes right there. And there's a chair. I never noticed it before. Sexy bee. I really like this this attack too when I do. You know, when, when, not that one. I, I, I like to do... I, oh, I, is, is it holding up, I believe? It's when I go like this, the laser. Yeah. She just loses stamina so quickly. Oh. There we go. I just love that it's homing. I really do. Alrighty, so.
I hear some more doggies that need to be sexy beamed. Oh, I think he's he's down there. I think we can even reach him. All the way from over here. Let's let's see. Let's wait for our stamina to go up a little bit. Oh, so, something else that I should mention. Let me let me get the dog to attack me, and I'll I'll show you something else interesting about the life meter up there. When he when he goes to attack me, we see a purple meter b below there that shows how long he's going to be stunning me for. Excuse me. Darn you, dog. You go back over there, eat your meat pocket thing, and I want to go in here. Thank you. I want to see how far I can attack him away. He's going to be right here, though, yep. Amazing. Amazing attack. She wasn't even able to fully kill him there. You gotta be careful. Heather, the superhero, cannot die. Now, on action level easy, or, or if we turn on be beginner mode, we'll be able to one shot these guys. There is the needle. I'm not sure if you could see through the needle that, that comes out of those guys, but. There we go. This guy still has some life in him, though. I really like that this is the place that you meet D Douglas. It's just so interesting. Because then you, you see it again, but you see it when it's really bad. But you may not necessarily remember that that's where you met Douglas, unless you've studied the map. Yeah, this is the place. Okay. I think we were actually doing damage to that dog way, way down there as well. Is there a dog way down here? It sounded like there were multiple dogs. No, no, no there isn't, but okay. Okay, let's get our hanger. Oh, is there another enemy back? Oh, there is. I wonder what does more damage. Sexy is I I'd imagine it's that because that drains our stamina more. That is my guess. Something else interesting about um, the action level normal about e easy rather. There's no item here. We we're not we don't have to pick up the bleach. There's normally bleach there that we would pick up to mix with the detergent to make the moths go away. Huh. Well, I wonder, wonder what's going to happen without that. I guess I, I, guess, I guess we'll see. Ah, uh, this is a job for superhero Heather. As I go the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. That's right, Heather. Use your superhero magic. What true superheroes do. Right here. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, up on the second floor. 
But let's just skip that. Let's just go up to the third floor. Oh, wait, I, I wanted to try out the other, the other part of the weapon. Yeah, that that definitely seems more 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 powerful. Also, hear a doggy down here. Oh, darn you, doggy. That's not nice. It, this this weapon is definitely interesting, but it is definitely not as powerful as our other weapon. That's right, this is an empty room. Like, if we use our unlimited submachine gun... Oh, that just kills them really easily. Oh, that's right, we haven't looked at their purple blood. There we go, first time actually seeing it. How did I forget about that? There you go. This is such a goofy run. This really is a goofy run. But that's what makes it so special. <laughs> you turn a horror game into something that's just so... interesting. We can actually see how much the different health supplies increase our health. Is this... This is also something else that I've never noticed before. Look at that hand over there. Obviously, I mean, I guess that's a, ma a mannequin hand, maybe? Let's say, but now it's all falling apart. Years have passed. Yeah, it makes no mention. I've never noticed that hand. Gosh, we're noticing a bunch of new things here. And here's a leg. Yeah, it's definitely a, a mannequin from that mannequin over there, but... Huh. Yeah, there they are there. I think I've seen them here, but I've not seen them over, over there. Interesting. The things you notice, right? Okay, Mr. Closer. Where are you? There you are. There you go, he just pulses. If we have something else over here to get to, I want to make sure that I get get this. There we go. Yep, let's pick up the steel pipe. We will use that later. So, so, so if we just shoot, yep, it's just all homing. Amazing. I wonder what the, the, the developers were thinking when they added this type of thing into the game. Like, what was the purpose of that? There's also another missing item here, the detergent. Huh. What are we going to do without those items? Interesting. Oh, here's the fan. And here's where the moths were. Well, guess what? Action level easy? No, there is. I mean, on R Rizzle. Uh, R Rizzle. What the heck is a Rizzle? Riddle, level easy. There's no There there are no um 
moths there deal with. Okay, I believe... No, it's just his handgun bullets. What well, darn. Is homing too. Oh no, it's not. It's not always homing. I think you had to be in within a certain radius of the enemies. Ooh, I saw that coming. Whew, gosh, this things are so fast. Now, here, here's the question there. What, what enemy is, is worse, the closer or the pendulums? The doggies aren't. The doggies are just too cute doggies. All right. We've got a lot of enemies there. Let's, uh, let's go ahead over here. Do what we need to do. Yeah, we're almost done with the shopping mall. Let's go ahead and save. I wonder how quickly the boss is going to be able to be taken out. Let's say a sports shop. Is that what that is? Is that what this is? Sports shop, huh? What kind of sports shop has cages and huh? That's an interesting sports shop. Sports in quotation mark. Yeah. Yeah, that is indeed. <laughs> that is indeed what it is. Sports in quotation marks. Oh, that old baby. There you go. It will put you out of your misery for good. We will make sure that you cannot feel any more pain. That is what Heather's job is here. Get rid of all evil. Sex. We have one back here. I wonder if I can hit him through the, the wall. Oh, I can. I was dead. There we go. I was, I was snagged on his dead body. Oh, there we Three more victims. I think we've probably gotten a decent amount of enemies at this point. I don't have a counter or anything, but I have a feeling that we've done close to 30 at this point. So I don't know if we need to be killing as many enemies. All right, well, it's time for the boss. We'll see how easily he goes down. As I said, when when I did this on beginner level, when I just tried to just when I was just flying through the whole thing, just to make it uh, 
go as quickly as I could so I could unlock this weapon. He died in one hit from the unlimited submachine gun. Just stoop, dead. It is, it is, it is indeed warm o'clock. Although Heather is a superhero, so she doesn't have to worry about warm o'clock because soon the worm is going to be dead. Then it'll be dead o'clock. So much less scary when Heather wears this outfit. Let's take this guy out. Whoa! Look at that purple bar up there! He was like eating my laser. Okay, Heather, I am mashing this, this button as hard as I can. Oh my goodness, I'm, st I'm staying back from that. That was uh, pretty crazy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there we go. Look at that slimy fellow. Oh, he's coming behind me, isn't he? Yeah, he is. There we go. Ah. Uh. And now we're back in the normal Shave Ma. Now I am aware that there is like a glitch that allows you to skip past that worm fight. I, I've, I've seen that in your in your videos there, so so. It is interesting. It's like you have to kind of walk through, like on the third floor, you kind of had to walk through like the stairs or something, and then you just get right to this area. Then you just skip that whole first boss. Skip the fight. If you're a speedrunner, that is. I am not a speedrunner. I am the furthest thing from a speedrunner, which is why I'm taking a pit stop in here to pick up some healing supplies. <laughs> as well as some beef jerky, of course. You, 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 you can't go wrong with beef jerky. Alright, it's time for our favorite... our favorite man who likes to expose himself. Oh, something else I should mention, depending on how high your health is, your stamina will not go over that. So if my if my health was lower, my stamina would also be lower, is something else I've noticed. All right, Douglas, let's check out your boxers. Heather! It's you. What just happened? You must be one of them! What did I do? One of them flashers, that is. And what do you mean by one of them? You're in on this with that Claudia, aren't you? Claudia? What about her? She asked me to find you, that's all. So you are one of them? Claudia did all that? Look, I was just hired to find you. I'm not on anybody's side. I don't know anything about this. Why don't you start by telling me what happened here? And that monster. What the hell was that? I don't know any more than you do. All I know is that things are getting really screwy around here, and I got a weird feeling it's got something to do with me. 
Maybe you're just an innocent bystander, but I, I can't feel sorry for you because you dragged me into this. You know, if you hadn't found me... What are you talking about? What's so special about you anyway? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so confused, would I? But I know there's something. Something I've been running from and forgot for a long time. How did I remember that? What's wrong? Nothing. Where are you going? I'm taking the subway home. What should I do? How if I know? I wonder if the thing that Heather forgot was the fact that she is Princess Heart. Sexy being. Maybe that's what she forgot. I don't know. And yeah, so so these the graphics are definitely very, very nice, especially when you see it in in HD. HD graphics. It's really nice. Because that actually upscales pretty well, I must say. Well, it's not really upscaling, it's just uh, rendering it at a higher resolution minus whatever the textures are, because some of the textures do or not. Okay, let's get our trusty map, of course. You need the map. Now, I always get lost here, as I said, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try to go based on what I remember. I was actually really impressed because I think all the previous times I managed to go the right way. That's right, this is where it's locked, I believe. No, this is where it's open. Okay, it's the other side that is locked. Yeah, we're not even going to bother with the guy that pushes us onto the train tracks. But we are going to bother with these dogs. Yes, we are. Any other doggies want to play? Yes, there is. Oh gosh, there's two doggies here to play. There's their heartbeat. Yeah, we really can't tell that the blood's purple. It just looks... Yeah, I guess it's not purple here. It doesn't look purple. Huh, interesting. Oh, let's go down. This can actually be a really quick area if you just fly through it. If you know where you're going, what what you're doing. But I have to say, the this is still my least favorite part of the game, this the subway. Oh, there's more more doggies back. Sexy. Ah, there he is. Sexy. You wanna play with the sexy beam doggy? I think he had a good time playing with the sexy beam. Look at those amazing boots she has, too. Just everything about this costume is just amazing. That's right, we still have the Shakespeare books in our inventory. What do you know? Well, that's right, this is where we get the shotgun. Not that we even need it or anything, but let's see how our good friend, the insane cancer, is with the heather beam. Oh, I'm sorry, the sexy beam. We gotta get it right. Sexy. He's dead. Wow. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that, sir. you just been sexified.
Laser removed that tumor. <laughs> that is indeed what, what just happened, yes. This part always makes me nervous. Especially with the dogs. Okay. There we go. And there we go, we're pretty much done the subway. Oh, hello there, doggies. I love that music. And then it sounds like a, uh, like a clock tower. Yeah, we didn't even pick up the bulletproof vest. Not that we even need it, but, well, we do need this. We, we should pick up some health items. All right, Heather, let's get on this train. Ah. Uh. Heather, why are you concerned about this? What is there to be concerned about? She's a superhero. She could just couldn't she just fly away? Let's go ahead and actually, yeah, I, I I guess we're safe here. Though there is a safe point right after that. Yeah, we're we're, we're about thirty minutes in, and we're all the way all the way in the subway already. Can Sailor Moon fly? I don't know. Because that is that that is what this is based off of. I never watched Sailor Moon, so I don't know. There's their amazing purple blood. Let's see what it looks like green. I don't know if it'll change immediately, but it's also black blood too. Yeah, look at that. Let's keep it as green for a little bit, and then we'll switch it to black. Hmm. That's just delicious green blood. At least your stamina fully replenishes when you go from room to room. All right, are we gonna... I know that there's an insane cancer here. And we have to laser off that tumor. There we go, let's laser it off. Ah. We lasered off the tumor from... from the, the subway. From the, from the train. <laughs> ah. Just like that. We are now out of the subway. Good riddance to the subway. And now we're also in another... Another area that is actually pretty short if you just kind of fly through it. Now this area right here, when I was playing hard, it, it, it was starting to hurt me. But, as you can see, it is not impacting my life on normal or easy. It, it does not do anything to your life. Just on hard and above, it just practically kills you. I can't even see what I'm doing here. I'm just I'm just shooting off. Ugh. There we go. Watch out for those guys. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother with them. I don't have to. No, no, no. Go go through the door, Heather. There we go.
That guy I'm not gonna mess with. Let's see what the black blood looks like. Honestly, I can't really see this looking much different than the red blood. Just probably really dark. Nasty looking. Yeah, it just looks like a really deep red almost. Yeah, I just keep it black for a little bit, but I do like the purple the best. In all honesty. Of course, we gotta pick up them all. And of course, we also have to pick up the map. We can't go without the map. Oh, little baby. Get remember now, Heather is not killing these enemies because she's evil. He's killing them because they are evil. Unlike the previous run that we did, they were evil. Well, I'm sorry, she was evil. She just wanted to kill everything. But now she's just having a good old time. Doing what is best. She is the vanquisher of evil. Not that death spank guy. She is. Ooh, he's even, he even walks fast. Look at that guy. He looks so, like, small as he's, like, walking, but... Well, there are different sizes of, of them. Like, that, that one right there that's flying, he looks... I don't know, he, he may be the same size, but... I don't have to kill every single enemy, so I'm not going to worry about it. As long as I kill enough, that's what matters. Guess all we need is the wine bottle. Kerosene heater. I remember those back in the day. My great grandmother had one of those, and I remember the little, that little red, like plunger type of thing that you pour it in or or take it out. It was, uh, it it heated well, but you know it's not good for like the walls and everything. It just made them really bad. Oh, hello there, big guy. Oh, he's not dead yet. Oh, he did a lot of damage. There we go. Uh, the wonderful graphics of the laser hitting his body 
as he deflates. This part of the game is also probably the the most quiet part. Like once you get onto the subway, there's really not any major cutscenes until you get to the hilltop center. There's nothing really major that goes on. Like you could skip past all this and just go to the hilltop center and really wouldn't miss anything except for just the horrific environment of this this uh, underground passageway. Like, I, I just find this underground passageway just, I don't know, it's just so, it's just, it's just disturbing to me, it really is. The hitboxes are a nightmare, yes, some, sometimes, yeah. Oh no, Heather. I'm sorry, Princess Heart, you cannot be in the dirty water. That is your one weakness that you have. Ooh! You don't ever do that to Princess Heart. Right in your eye, it, it goes. Hey. Now, I'm very curious about something right here. If you remember, there's an enemy under the bridge here. And sometimes these slurpers like to play dead, so I wonder if he's still alive and we can just kind of do do this. No, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Let's see. Let me go. I'm curious if I can kill him. No, it doesn't seem like it. I, I, I thought at one point I thought I could kill, kill this guy. If there was a, a grenade in this game, then yeah. Okay, that, that's definitely not going to work. Let me just back up just a little bit and try this again. Let's do it from like here. That should be hitting him even though I can't see it. I don't know, but... It would be interesting if he was still there when we came back. See if he's still there. No, he's not. He's gone. I really could have thought at one point that I was able to kill him when he was under there. Another three, three evil, evil monsters down. Well, we remember what this part is. Let's go ahead and save. I keep saving like every 10 minutes. How am I doing that? So we remember what happens when we when we put the pipe in here. Let's do that again, but this time this time we are going going to lie to her, okay? What was it that you dropped? Was it this precious gold pipe? Ah uh, yeah, it it certainly was. Oh, I love that. You are a liar! I have nothing to give to you! Maybe, maybe we can drop in some Shakespeare books. That's, that, that is what she, she gets now. She was in there. 
And that's, that's not, not only that, I, th I think she just takes our pipe in general. Yes, we don't even have a pipe at all. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That's right, there are some enemies here too. The pendulums, I believe. Yeah, there's annoying. These are the most annoying sound-wise. Well, well, the slippers are pretty annoying too. Yeah, there must be a third one up over there, but I'm not going to mess with him. I'm going. I'm tired of the noise. It is interesting how the... how the music and sound designer, Akira Yamioka, how he created some of these tracks and sounds. Like I, was, I think it's in, in the making of Silent Hill 3, there's a video you can watch. I think it's like... It might be 10 minutes long or 30 minutes long, I don't remember. <laughs> it's one of the two. But, uh... Yeah, he, he talks about how he, he recorded these weird sounds and then he just applied a bunch of effects and slowed it and reversed it and just did a bunch of other stuff and just made it sound... creepy. Alright. Well, we are at the construction site at the Hilltop Center now. So... We're going to go ahead and save it. And next... I know this is going to be a full 10 minutes. And next time... We will actually see what happens... Proceeding forward from here. Isn't that right, Heather? Oh, hang on a minute, Heather. Isn't that right, Heather? Sex. That's right, okay. <laughs> He says yes, yes to that. Alright, so... I will see y'all again very soon. And we'll see what happens with this ending that we're going for. Okay, you all take care. I'll catch you later.